music has this mysterious power to affect us so deeply. And never in my wildest dream, when I started, did I ever think that there would be some deep connection between the function of our universe and music. And I want to take you a little bit on that journey today. At the very birth of astronomy, the very birth, going back to the Pythagoreans, 580, 540 BC, they actually thought at the birth of astronomy that the universe played a harmony. They call it harmony of the spheres. That all the planets were playing this harmony. heard about this idea called the Big Bang. This is actually Einstein's theory of gravity. It predicts that in the presence of matter and energy, the space-time of the universe actually is going to expand. So what we're seeing from your left to the right is that region where you have this shiny white light. That region actually is a big mystery. We call that the Big Bang. We don't understand how it came about and what happened before. But what we do understand well is what happened afterwards. So what we're seeing there, that is something called a cosmic microwave background radiation that's been measured. That corresponds to the early universe as it's expanding that was very hot and dense and filled with radiation energy. Nothing else, no planets, no stars, no galaxies. And as the universe continued to expand, it cooled and that radiation coalesced to form the first stars and galaxies that we now inhabit. wonderful young people play. You need two things to happen. You need a rhythm section, and what usually happens is that this rhythm section, this rhythm repeats itself like a cycle. And you have a harmony, and that harmonic structure repeats itself as well. And every time that repetition happens, the improviser, the soloer, gets to try different things. Gets to improvise different ideas. So, what if the universe was like something like that?
idea is that you have an infinite succession of bangs. The universe, our past universe, expanded, contracted into a bang, expanded and contracted again. And every time it did that, the universe had an opportunity to solo different laws of nature. that if it was any different, if those laws are any different, it would not produce the stuff necessary for life. A star is what produces stuff, so we're really made up of stardust. Bye.